Hi and welcome. In this video, um, we'll demonstrate uh, creating a QuickBooks estimate from a SI2015 project. So uh, to do that, we're going to start projects, manage projects, and uh, you can select the project that you want to work with here and we'll uh, check it out and open it. So once it's checked out, we'll just double click this. This will open up the uh, project editor and um, here's the QuickBooks tab here. So you can create a brand new estimate um, for just selected items or for all of the items uh, in a project. You can also add to an existing um, estimate. So if you've um, already pushed over an estimate for this particular uh, customer and job to QuickBooks, um, you could add to it if you'd like. Um, and you can also clear them uh, if you ever need to do that. That just clears out the, the estimate. Um, now how this is going to transfer um, depends on your QuickBooks settings. So in this case, um, what I've done is I've changed uh, some of the defaults and, and um, the phase labor item format, I've chosen to export as one item. So at the end of the uh, estimate that goes over, you'll just see one line item for the labor, not a breakout. And I've um, chosen not to use the long description for items. I'm going to use the short description. Uh, we cover these QuickBooks settings uh, in detail in another video, but I just want to show you that I have changed some of the defaults here. And I'll show you examples of some of the other um, settings there once um, we push this over to QuickBooks. So uh, to start, let's go ahead and choose uh, Create and then choose All. And uh, we're just going to push the entire thing over. Um, and what you see here is a uh, the Create Estimate form. Now, if the customer and job, um, that's QuickBooks terminology, already exist over in QuickBooks, you can choose them from this list. In this case, um, it's... Um, I don't have the customer or, or the job over there. Now, if you have the customer but not the job, um, there is a new job button here. And if you click this, this will show you a list of all of your existing QuickBooks customers. And then you can choose from here if you'd like. Um, if it's completely new, both a new uh, customer and a new job, just hit the new customer button and it will create a customer um, job. So a customer colon job. And that colon is just QuickBooks terminology for sub item of. So uh, when you click the new uh, customer button there, that's this will open. Uh, if you want to adjust any of the information here, you can. Um, we fill in this from the project information. We also, on the uh, job info tab, put the name of the project here in the job name that's going to transfer to QuickBooks. Uh, all of the drop downs in these fields here are QuickBooks fields. So if you want to change them, you certainly can. Let's see uh, some of these. And back here on the additional info, um, again, QuickBooks drop downs, where maybe we want to... Uh, tax on this when it pushes over. So we'll say OK. And it creates um, this customer and this job over in QuickBooks. Now I know the, um, that there are a lot of buttons along the top here. Looks possibly confusing here. But um, we've already selected the items from the project. We told it to create um, for all. So uh, the view here is just what you're seeing. These are the products. Um, that we've chosen. Some of them are already assigned QuickBooks accounting item numbers. Uh, some of them are not. You see some blanks in here. Um, if you want to assign these individually here, um, you can create a brand new item uh, or uh, map to an existing item. Um, if you're going to use the buttons up here, uh, it would be to map most likely because um, I'll show you in a second. Just uh, when you attempt to create this estimate, you're going to be prompted to create the missing item numbers um, over in QuickBooks anyways. But if you prefer the method of mapping, you would highlight an item and map it here. And This is just going to pull up a the QuickBooks list of your items and you would select the item that you want to attach this to and push it over. Um, also under the view tab here um, is the labor and in this case um, this job has a labor adjustment as well as um, just one line item for labor per your my QuickBooks settings here. Um, so uh, now that we've you know, created this customer job, you can just push the create estimate button. And here you're going to see the prompt that there's some items that are missing QuickBooks item numbers and it asks if you want to create them. We'll go ahead and say yes and uh, create the items over in QuickBooks. So I've just got a few here in the list um, that are pushing over and um, some miscellaneous parts, equipment um, adjustment here and then labor adjustment. And those are uh, price adjustments that I put into this project. Um, you also have QuickBooks settings that you can change these names um, and how they get created. I'm going to leave them here uh, the default. Um, and you can choose a, you know, if you're going to push an inventory or non-inventory. Um, you can even select a vendor if you'd like a preferred vendor for this. Um, choose your 
um, account and then just hit create. Um, again, this is your uh, vendor list, by the way, over in QuickBooks. So in this case, let's assign one and uh, hit create. It will go here to the next one. Of course, you can you know assign. Um, if you don't have them in the list, we can just say here this this one. And then um, of course, this is offering to create this vendor here over uh, in SI 2015. So this is a uh, QuickBooks vendor. It's offering to pull that in automatically. I'll choose yes for that, and that will be added to my vendor list for future use. Uh, and here um, we're just going to go ahead and create this without a vendor. This is the uh, price adjustments. And so this is creating items on the fly uh, here. We'll hit OK. This is now going to transfer over to QuickBooks, and you can see that it is estimate number four. Uh, go ahead and hit OK. Um, you're going to be prompted here to save the project file. It's a good idea to go ahead and do that so it tracks that um, this has been pushed to QuickBooks. And uh, what I mean by uh, tracking that is if you look here on the um, layouts, and uh, there's an accounting tab here, you can see that the, uh, all of these items now have uh, accounting estimate number four because they've already been pushed to QuickBooks. So let's have a look over in QuickBooks. We'll pull this up and we'll go to uh, estimates here and we'll find estimate number four. And here we are, estimate number four. This is what just pushed over um, all of those items with the short description, um, one line item for labor here. Um, and uh, I talked about some of the settings, you know, um, using short description versus long description and um, one line item for labor versus um, say for each phase. So um, if we back up here, you can see that uh, this estimate was pushed over uh, with short descriptions, but if we scroll down a bit, you'll see the um, labor was pushed over by phase. So that's one of your options. And then this uh, previous one I'm gonna go to here, use the long description for the product. So you can see um, it adds a very big description, the, the long description field from SI 2015, if that's your preference. And uh, that is creating a, um, estimate from an SI 2015 project.